and a welcome back. It's Wade. Oh, for a little ride this morning. Beautiful day on the uh, Indian Point Road, uh, just outside of Mahone Bay. It's just beautiful. And today I uh, just want to do a quick review of the the mirrors that I put on the bike. I had a few questions on how are they. Uh, what do I think about them? So I figured I'd do a uh, do a little review, give you some of the pros and cons, and uh, what I think of them. So uh, first off, they're from a company called uh, Power Mad, P O W E R M A D D. I think it's all one word. Uh, they do sell a few different uh, models of the mirrors. These are, I think they're around $29, $26 or so. And they're made to fit onto uh, brush guards. The other one, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's more of a specialty type uh, fitting. But uh, for the price, uh, you know, you can't really, uh, can't knock it because for less than $30, you have a set of, a set of mirrors where some of the other um, turtle crossing, some of the other companies charge, you know, over $100 for, for a set of mirrors. Yeah, they're probably a little bit higher quality, but uh, you just need to see behind you. They're not, uh, not really, not really there to make so much of a fashion statement, but uh, these do. These actually are nice looking. Uh, they've really put a slick look to the bike, I think, compared to the the factory ones, which uh, you know stuck up right in front of you. This one's these these are a little bit more sleek and compact. Uh, they give it more of a uh, dirt bike look, where they they're kind of hidden behind the brush guards themselves, which is nice. Really gives a nice look to the bike. And I think it would give a nice look to, uh, to any bike. It would even be better if I had black uh, brush cards. Then it would all kind of uh, blend together. But, uh, you know, I had to go with the red. Hey. Just because. Uh, the Some of the cons, uh, they're a little bit smaller. Well, they are smaller. Not a little bit smaller. They are smaller than the factory. Uh, and to adjust them, you just turn them. And you can, you know, flick it up and whatnot as you want. But basically, you just turn it so you can see uh, see what you need to see behind you. And uh, if they fall, you know, if you fall over, they'll just, you know, bend up, which is which is also really nice uh, to help protect them. Now the visibility. Because they are smaller, the visibility is not as great as the the factory. The factory also give you a higher higher uh, vision, you know, stance to them. So they uh, they kind of have more see over your shoulder, where these kind of have to see around your shoulder. And um, if if you can't get them just right, then you know you may have to just pull your your shoulder in a little bit. You know, like, like so, well, that's a little bit extreme, but, you know, even with your hand on, you can just pull your shoulder in, and uh, you can see completely behind you when you do that. Uh, you can see behind you, even without that, you are seeing half the mirror is kind of taken up with your, your arm, uh, it, unless you put it more of a outer point, and then you don't see behind me. I want to see what's really behind me, more so than what's beside me. Most of the roads I, I drive on are single, single lane so I really don't need to be watching uh, what's on the other side of me I'm not on the uh, you know 401 or I-88 or whatever where it's you know three to four lanes of traffic and I kind of need to know where everything is all the time I just need to know what's kind of behind me and what's in front of me so for that purpose these these are these serve the purpose really good these mirrors would I buy them again? Yeah, I, I think I would. You know, it did take me a little while to get used to them. Uh, more so just getting the adjustment down 
to to where I could see it clearly uh, behind me. So you know they they're good, and uh, like I said, I would buy them again. Uh, and, and on any dirt bike, I think they're they're spectacular for 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 the looks. You know, you can get the ones that bend also up the top uh, from factory. Those, you know, give you uh, the flexibility of your crash, and they're not going to break your mirrors. And same as these ones. So for 30 bucks, you know, if you don't like them, you know, put your factories back on, or try a different pair. But for 30 bucks, really, you can't, you know, that's that's less than a meal out if you, if you're going out. So there's really no reason not to try them unless you don't have brush guards I guess um, then they're they're kind of useless for you but if you have brush guards and you want a cleaner look uh, I would recommend going these give them a try and like I said if you don't like them just take them off there's one little screw it doesn't take much at all uh, and then you'll be you'll be all set to put your factories back on and uh, hit the road again and if you want, you can even leave your factor on until you see if you like them. Hey, it, they're, they're, they don't take the same factor holes. The only thing I wish I, I was able to find something to plug up the factory uh, nut holes, I guess, the bolt holes. Um, I tried to find a, 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 a nut to fit in them, but there's some kind of weird thread. It's it's like a backwards thread or something. It's, uh, it's just I just couldn't do it. So that's why I just kind of got these holes for now. Maybe some putty or something to fill them up. But uh, I think that's uh, going to give you uh, the little review of my uh, the mirrors, what I think of them. Yeah, I like them. Um, and like I said, for thirty bucks, really, you can't can't go wrong. And uh, if you don't like them, chuck them. But that's my review and uh, impressions after using the uh, PowerMad uh, mirrors on my uh, ZRF250L. I hope it uh, gave you some more information or uh, things to think about if you're looking at them. And uh, enjoy the day, enjoy your rides. Until next time. Goodbye.